Melanin is a pigment that is responsible for a beautiful variety of skin tones and shades, eye colors and hair colors. However, when we discuss melanin, that discussion really includes its actual biological benefits. Not only does melanin provide pigmentation for human skin, hair and eyes, it also provides protection against the harmful effects of ultraviolet rays. People who have melanin have been told that everything in the body is governed by the brain and that every reaction in every system is brain governed and that is wrong. Melanin acts independently. It is capable of instantaneous reaction to energy fields without being processed through any of the neuron synapses and dendrite stems of the brain. In other words, it acts as a chlorophyllin carrier. It takes energy, reacts to it, and processes its own information to its nearby cells. That's why you can get again those beautiful moves of the Michael Jordans, those cuts and so by the football players, and those immediate reactions because you can't stop and think. They have to train people without melanin or with little melanin to react. People with melanin react anyway because it's like what they showed on the black Buddhas. You have eyes everywhere. You are totally conscious and you don't wait for brain processing which slows it down. We'll prove this to you in the classes because you can inflict pain and if you have your mind off somewhere, it'll take sometimes up to 15 seconds before you feel the pain. And you can even delay that longer if you're trying to offset pain by merely mind control. They don't teach you though with melanin, you can make that instantaneous reaction or you can delay it up to 30 seconds or you cannot even get to feel it at all by simply using certain ways with melanin and ingesting certain foods and herbals. Speeds the healing process in half. Melanin can speed up the healing process by half and by a third in strong magnetic fields. Melanin is a gift from the gods. With melanin, you can speed up your healing process in half. And if you really get into a strong magnetic field, nothing to do with the electricity, which hurts you in the main, you can be even cut that into a third. You can see into the body without using anode cathode ray bombardments if you have melanin by using magnetic fields. Once you begin to use this kind of energy in this fashion again, per se, you can speed up everything that your body does and everything that your brain does. You can even speed up the kind of energy and frequencies that normally you're attuned to that come in to your body and into your brain. This makes you a god. By locate. When functioning correctly, people with melanin can be in consciousness in one place and the body in another. When your melanin is functioning correctly, you can bilocate by being in consciousness one place while being in your body in another. Some people call that state now death. That is real life. That's why they used to have guardians for the body, watchers, and all kind of other terms that some of you from Louisiana, from Mississippi, from the old country, and with the teachings of the god Valdal knew about. And that's what you used to run to those people to buy, locate, and tell you what was happening and to influence your enemies. And you know your grandmothers and grandfathers talked about it, and some of you may even practice it now but practice it in the light, in the full capacity. It is a gift from the gods. You earned it. When you don't do the drugs, and I do a lecture called Drugs and the Astral, if ever you want to get a dope head off of his drugs, teach a person with melanin who still knows that he has a soul and a spirit, and she has a soul and a spirit, that they actually can ground their soul on hell, that's the other term for earth, 
when the non-melanin carriers came and have to go through this nine lifetimes to get it straight again. And if they don't believe that, ask them what do you think they're doing with their life now when they themselves know down deep that the days are passing by and they're going nowhere except into a total extermination of their physical body. The herbals that you take work differently because they have part of the earth in it and part of that earth awakens the old earth people who are melanin carriers. And therefore, all of those kingdoms of the plants, the animals, the insects, the birds that fly, and everything that creeps and crawls and moves responds to that vibration because it was a vibration that they were created in also, and they look upon you as gods. Gods who don't know who they are. Rich astounding frequencies. When melanin in form of high energy yields vibrates, every cell in the body vibrates faster, producing astounding frequencies that can be physically tested. Inasmuch as melanin works on every part of the body and is in every cell of your body, now when the energy fields of Earth change, it will begin to vibrate faster and every part of you will begin to quicken in what it's capable of doing. The tests of any kind, the inoculations using basic low vibrations, food that does not have energy stored within it cannot work well for you now because you are in a process of change. When the melanin in a form of high energy yield throughout the body vibrates, every cell in every organ vibrates faster. Since melanin is also in the brain, the brain vibrates faster. And the frequencies that it can reach are astounding. There's the frequencies that let you seem to be out of your body looking down on it that they all talk about. There's the frequencies that let you sense when something's going to happen to one of your loved ones before it happens. And if it's happening, almost go crazy because you know it's happening even though you're not there. It beats any switch on EATT North. Northern Telecom or Bell Atlantic. It is your instantaneous form of communication. It is a thing that messes up your cable TV when you pass by it. It is a thing that sometimes when you get excited, again, begins to interfere with your TV patterns. And it's a thing that we just don't utilize enough. Why? Because who was going to teach it? The teachers were killed when they brought us out of Mother Africa. The teachers were killed when they attempted to do it here. And even under the Masonic Guild and the ancient ones who tried to at least serve the gods by helping the children of the gods to do who they were, they were killed and tortured as worse as you were because they didn't want you to know who you were. They wanted to steal the planet, imprison you, and take what the gods had left. Again, I'm talking about gods, advanced scientists from many worlds watching a special project here on this planet, Tierra, Sean, Sanche, all names for this little place. Cosmic Wisdom When operating correctly, melanin can cause the pituitary gland to release hormones that give flashes of the cosmic universe. Melanin, when operating well, causes the pituitary gland to release hormones that they haven't even cataloged. They can't because they have no way to measure the hormonal things because they're instantaneously then and they're gone. But when they're there, they give you flashes of the cosmic universe. Intuitive flashes in full color of who you have been and what you can be. The same flashes that when you depart this body and your life passes before you, that you go through again. But did they ever teach you that you don't have to die to bring that about? That that cosmic wisdom of knowing everything that your ancestors knew is yours every night when you go to sleep and between 11 and 2.30 when the melanin glands are working at its best. But you must have total darkness. That's why they give you the TVs that never go out. I told you in a previous lecture, everybody in here this summer will get one shade darker than they are, whether you go out in the sun or not, 
because the light will be entering into you. The energy will come in whether you close windows or doors or not. And for those who are not used to it, it is absolutely carcinomic leukemic death that they're asking to go out in the sun this summer. But as the melanin is stepped up, if you must go out in it, you can survive. The point is again, it will begin to make your head feel as though it was almost wavering. And until you balance out that melanin and get the higher frequencies going, all it will do in some cases is to give headaches, other cases to make you want to cover the head, but at night when you sleep, each night having been exposed to that, the melanin will go through a metamorphosis and you will wake up with more insight as to who you are and certain psychic abilities will begin to form within 48 hours after that exposure. If you adapt to it, the next time out, more happens. And then the DNA and the cells will begin to come together, just like a magnet, because magnetism is what it will awaken in your body. And then they'll begin to entwine the strands little by little up to the year 1997, when all melanin carriers are supposed to have 10 of their strands back together. Then you will see the difference in having melanin and not having melanin. Melanin serves several functions in the body, including protecting the skin from harmful UV radiation by absorbing and dissipating UV rays, which helps preventing sunburn and skin damage. It also contributes to determining the color of the skin, hair, and eyes. There are two main types of melanin, eumelanin and fumelanin. Eumelanin is responsible for brown to black pigmentation, while fumelanin is responsible for yellow to red pigmentation. The relative proportion of these two types of melanin determine an individual skin, hair, and eye color. The production and distribution of melanin in the body are primarily determined by genetics. Different ethnic groups have varying levels of melanin production, resulting to difference in skin pigmentation. Exposure to sunlight stimulates melanin production, leading to tanning. This is the body's natural defense mechanism to protect the skin from UV damage. However, excessive sun exposure can also lead to sunburn and an increased risk of skin cancer. The amount and type of melanin in the skin have evolved over time as it responds to environmental factors such as sunlight intensity and latitude. People with lighter skin tones tend to have less melanin, allowing for more efficient production of vitamin D in regions with less sunlight. Why darker skin tones provide greater protection against the intense UV rays found closer to the equator. Melanin also determines the color of the hair and eyes. Variation in melanin production and distribution leads to a wide range of hair and eye colors, from blonde and blue eye to black and brown eye individuals. Melanin plays a role in protecting the skin from UV-induced damage and skin cancer. People with high level of melanin are less susceptible to sunburn and have a lower risk of developing certain types of skin cancer.